Hey, this is Blues Guitar Guy, and today we're going to be organizing my inshore saltwater tackle box. Okay, I think I have one box done. I don't need any more than that for one trip on this box, on these type of baits. That's good. I got three more to do. Oh, geez. I got a lot to do. Yeah. You realize I'm going to be here all night since you talked me into doing this, right? I still got stuff in here. Oh, man. Ooh, I like that one. What is that? Oh, goodness. What a mess. I guess we could make a little room in here. Yeah, yeah. we could put all the weights like I said there, and then we got all these jig heads everywhere. We could, um, well, we I'm always hunting for them. Heads. Where are they? We could put all the jig heads in this one box. That's kind of good. Okay. And then we could take all uh, like um, the weight, the floaters, and your, any of your other little tools, like some of your keys, and we could all put them in this box. Nice. How's that sound? <laughs> what are we going to do with these styrofoam cords? We don't use them. Well, actually, we do have a use for them. Okay. Uh, we don't use them on our baits much anymore um, but you remember the broken through hole fitting my two videos ago yeah okay if that would have broken while we were on the water and the water would have been rushing in mm -hmm. I could take one of these whittle it down enough stick it in that hole stick it in here and then my bilge pump would have kept up with it because it just been a trickle of water coming in so I think we need to keep one or two in the boat somewhere uh, for broken fitting and stuff. Yeah, I think so too. Good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. I'm going to run through them real quick for those of you that want to see. Mirror lure. Norton sand eel. Down south lures. Chicken of the sea. Strike king. Redfish magic. All different colors. Really like these. H&H &H, coastal tackle. These are really old. We call that color LSU. More Norton sand lure, sand eels. Gulp and glow that turn yellow. These are really good, and I'm glad I found them. Let me show you guys. Well, you can see the color. It's got kind of a pink and a pepper green. I don't know what you call it, a pepper flake green. That's really good down there, and I'm glad I found them. But I'm going to use these next trip. More Norton Sand Eels LSU color, that's what they call it. More mirror lures. Saltwater assassin. Sa that is assassin. <laughs> Pink and chartreuse with some sparkly stuff. All of that stuff's important. And this is important too. A little rod thing to hold it, you know, hold it down, or a little real seat screw. You gotta have this in your tackle box. Tell me I'm wrong. This is going to take a while. We'll be back in a minute. This is a must. Is there a spook? Top water. More spooks and something else. She dogs or something. We got to have those. So where's my Paul Brown original Paul Brown soft plastic? This soft down mirror. I love these baits. Got to have those. Got to have suspending catch 2000 by Mirror Lure. Got to have a bone colored she dog. Maybe two of them. Some of these. You don't use all of these. Uh, no, no. I, well, I would. And you, like, you, you use them, but they're not even out of the boxes. So well, do you, do are, you use them? <laughs> well, yeah, this is for early in the morning. And, yeah, and of course, I can't get you up early. Okay. <laughs> and that's, and you've um, got two of those. That's not the same thing. That's okay. A, so this is a spook, and that's a, that's a uh, Catch 2000. That's kind okay. of a simple. But shouldn't thing. we take it's this one out of the box so it'll be available to use instead well, of that? it won't be all pretty unless your hooks will get done. Okay. All right. I'll think about I like, that. I like them to be pretty hot. You got it. Give me, give me the right. rest of these. These things are expensive. These yeah, are really good baits on, on I used that last time. I like it. Organizing tackle, guys. Yeah. It's not working. <laughs> And I really think she should just go to bed. 
No. <laughs> yeah. It won't get done if I do that. I, I'll get some of it done. All right, look, let me explain how I do things. Okay. okay. All right. Early in the morning, <laughs> you use this for trout. And redfish will hit this too. Okay. Or you use one of the other top waters, the floaters, any of the floaters. You okay. get that silver one, that one right there. Okay. That's you, for big trout. Did you need all of them? Because as trout get larger, Oops. well, we they don't um, they don't feed on these little baby shrimp as much. They're they're looking for fish. Okay, now that is a fish. In fact, I could almost fillet that. That'll catch time. a big trout. Huh? It should catch a big trout if there's any big trout there. Um, and then sometimes we want a little finesse, a little small one. Uh, well, this isn't too bad. This will be for the smaller trout, I guess. And it'll catch a big trout. But this is even. This is good, like it, because you can. These will run just under the surface. You know. Sometimes the little trout are under there, and, you know, the birds, when we're working birds, which yeah. we don't do very often because I, I hate chasing them. But the little shrimp, the little bait fish will run to the top, and those big trout are below those little trout, if mm -hmm. there's any big trout. Because they're smart, that's how they got fat, because if you sit there, that's they wait happens. for the pieces to come down. So, yeah, they let so the little ones do all the work. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And so this runs a little deeper. You know, and this is a really good, feel that, feel that. that's a really yeah. good bait. Yeah, I think I used that the last time. These Paul Browns, man, they're really good. And then we've got so our little jig heads. Little top water. And then we've got, this is what you use a lot of times on uh -huh. your, for your flounder. You put a shrimp or a gulp on there. And they're going to go in this jig head box. I guess, yeah. Okay. You think okay. we can get all that in here? Ooh, what about these? Do you ever use these? Oh, absolutely. A North Sand Deal? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, so, see, see, I've used a lot of these. So see, you there's only one of these left. The, yeah, you did. <laughs> so we just leave these in the pack. So I guess we can organize some of this. Yeah. That's a good bait there. That's a really good bait for that. It's a good color. Here's my little flounder. I wonder where we could put that in my own little flounder box. <laughs> well, what I'd like to, yeah. I, <laughs> your own little flounder own box. Little Flounder. What I would like to do is I would like you to rig you up some of the John Skinner type flounder rigs mm -hmm. with this bucktail jig and then um, maybe something like a little jig, another little jig head with a gulp on it on the back. I can put it in here because... What are these are here? Those are terrible jigs. Okay. I, I hate so. this. The guys, pretty color. <laughs> guys, yes. I, the red heads are great because I, I can remember times Ooh, what about this? Okay, go ahead. I can remember times we were down at Big Lake in, on Calcasieu, and uh, we located a whole bunch of redfish. Um, with, with the tide was coming out of the marsh, marsh bringing bringing bait fish out, and they would not bite dead shrimp, if you believe it or not, without something red on it. Don't really? ask me why. They wouldn't, they would bite, we would get twice as many bites with red, so that's why I picked these up. Let me tell you something, these are terrible. I'm sorry Bass mm -hmm. Pro, but these are terrible. These hooks are not the gap so wide enough. So basically you just need to get a better brand, not this yeah, brand. Yeah, see this, I don't like some this. Some that are red, Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, on the red. I don't like this uh, hook, hook gap, it's not very wide. Mm -hmm. I like the big wide, wider ones now. Like here's one, look. See, now I like them longer, but see how mm -hmm. wide that is? Hold that up to me yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. And then these things are just so skinny, I believe I could swallow that thing and spit it back up, mm -hmm. which is the hook gap in a while, yeah. very wide. So what do you want me to do with these? Just put them aside? Uh, you you know, don't know what I want to do with them. you'll uh, donate them somewhere? <laughs> I'll probably just throw them out, because they're not any good. Put that one back, that's yeah, a good I love one. these. Oh, what about this right here? That's a good little redfish bait. Never used it. Well, it's because it's okay. never been used. It's pink, so next time we go when we go fishing, it's gonna, I'm gonna use it. Oh really? It's got pink. It's pink. Okay, what else do I have in here that you seem to be so fond of? Uh, uh, that's not even should be in that box. Okay. That's it for sure. <laughs> we are gonna do a shark the, fishing um, video. Okay. Um, well, we not, we're, we're not gonna go. To take yeah, but we're not gonna do it this time. Oh, okay. Stuff. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna organize it inshore mm -hmm. for in the boat, 
and then we're gonna put wade fishing, surf fishing. Yeah. Because a lot of times we use bigger stuff just to have fun with it. Mm -hmm. And we'll put like that in that box. What do you think? That sounds good. All right, guys, we'll we'll show you the finished result one day in about a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, next trip coming up. Oh yeah, and um, guess who's coming to meet us down at um, Lake Calcasy to go fishing with us? A couple of people. Two Johns from Lake Charles. Charles and um, barbecue pit dogs barbecue coming pit dogs. down. That's Hopefully, right. he barbecue says he's going to come and um, bring his pit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm going to use my brand new old Smokey. I'm going to take it, the one that uh, Pickles Barbecue uh, sent me. I won on his giveaway. Thank you, Pickles, man. You're a good dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to take that, and barbecue pit dogs going to bring his pit. And we're gonna do some cooking. We might even, I and think, eating. I think I'm gonna do some redfish on the half shell on the old Smokey. I think I can do that. And I don't know what Robert with Pit Dog Channel's gonna do. But he's coming down, it's we're gonna, gonna be, have some fun. And, it's gonna be good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell him that, that the boat's broken down and we're gonna have to wade and see what he says. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's mean. I have a friend. And tough guy. I mean, just tough as nails. But who's that? George. Oh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so on the way down, he 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 had never wade fished, and he's not a real tall rascal anyway. And uh, I mean, he's got arms like you know. <laughs> and on the way down, I was kid with him about when we, I wasn't kidding, I was telling him the truth how when we used to go out and uh, wade real far off like the Chandelier Islands or something like that and the sharks would come in at certain times of the year and we'd have our stringers tied to our belt and you know with a slip knot because you know for, we don't want a shark hitting our stringer and our stringers were like 20 feet long behind us and so we could untie it and I was, and I was telling him one time that um, we were down there and we were having to hit our rod tips on the water to turn the sharks because we were the island. We were near an island, but the, the boat was anchored off the island a little bit. And we were out there waiting and the sharks were, we were starting to see a lot of them. I guess all the blood in the water. And uh, we started easing towards the boat and it scared him to death. So I don't blame we, him. <laughs> <laughs> he is, so we went down like to Holly Beach him. one time with him and another friend uh, went with us, a couple other friends went with us, and and uh, one guy, I'll just call him Randy. Randy and I, we, we're, we're wading way out, you know, because we're trying to find a fish. We start at the first <laughs> gut, and you know, and you go further and further out. And uh, I had this big patio umbrella that I took along with us in case we got on the pier and, and did some pier fishing. And um, we backed George's truck up there on the beach, and I said, come on, get your rod and, you know, let's fish the first gut. He said, no, nah, I'll sit right here. <laughs> I, and I said, come on, man, let's go. And he said, nah, I'm gonna sit right here. And you know, he would, I don't know if he couldn't swim, I think he probably can, but he, he wouldn't get in that much water. <laughs> I had scared him so bad on the way down. <laughs> I felt so bad about it. We ribbed him. That's been about five or six years, and I'm I'm still giving still him. Still ribbing him, huh? Yeah, I'm still getting on him about that. You know, I said, you big sissy. He said, no, I just, I just, he can make it up all kinds of excuses. Yet Debbie here, she'll she'll get out here in nearly neck deep water out yeah, there, wade fishing. I want the fish, I'll go she for wants the fish. The fish. I don't you know. worry so much about the sharks yet. You no, know, it's not the sharks, it's the jellyfish and the Portuguese man of war. I don't like the jellyfish either. You know, the jellyfish did get you one time. Yeah, they did. Yeah, you know, but anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, yep. I think we might do some more of this, and um, I'll get this thing kind of organized. Anyway, we'll see you. We're going down in about a week. We're going down uh, yep. to uh, meet Barbecue Pit Dog. Hopefully, he'll get to come, and some of the other guys. If not, it's just going to be us again. But we're gonna we're gonna spend an extra day down there, and we're gonna hopefully catch some serious fish. If worst comes to worst, we'll go to the jetties. Where's my shark rig? <laughs>